The Seven Month Itch Part 2 is so unbelievably sweet. I'm still on the mind that this didn't necessarily need to be a two-parter. I feel like they could have really condensed the first part and then made this the bulk of it. But having said that, I do adore this episode. This is the 20th episode of the first season of Full House and it follows on from the previous episode. There may be spoilers. In fact, there will be spoilers from this point on for this episode and, of course, the previous one. In the previous episode, Jesse runs away from home. The pressure of never having any space, never having free time, never being on his own gets to him. And he goes off and he goes skiing with some of his friends, quite a lot of his friends, actually. And obviously, everybody is devastated, but particularly DJ and Stephanie. So they hatch a plan to try and get Jesse back. I won't say exactly what the plan is, but it was a, it was a good idea. It's emotionally manipulative. But it was a good idea. And suddenly Jesse begins to realise that a lot of his heart, most of his heart, is still in that house. And it's difficult for him to be away. One of my favourite indications of this is when Jesse's getting ready to go skiing. And he puts a lot of effort into getting ready, putting his mittens on and his hat and doing all of the things that he'd do with the children to keep them safe and warm. And his friends are just standing behind him, looking at him as if he's lost the plot. And it's a really strong indication of just how much living there has changed him, perhaps without him even realising. And that's what a lot of this episode is about. It's about acknowledging that, yes, he may have lost who he used to be, but what he's gained is, in some ways, so much better. But unfortunately, he just wasn't, at the time, able to see that. And I think that was really beautiful. And it's also something that most of us can apply in any situation. If we've lost something, it's good to reflect on what we might have gained in the process. And this is what we have with Jesse. Michelle is an absolute star in this. I absolutely, I mean, I adore her anyway, but she was so adorable in this one. And the montage with Jesse and Michelle was so beautiful. There were some clips in there that I'm pretty sure we have never seen before, whether they were outtakes from previous episodes or filmed exclusively for this one, I'm not sure, but it was really cute. And also, also shows how much Mary Caden actually had grown since the beginning of the season because they used to be a little bit tinier with a lot less hair and it's adorable to see them growing up and Michelle coughing into the phone was just the cutest thing ever. We also have a great moment from Danny teaching DJ the guitar. Obviously the purpose of this was to show that Jesse actually has a really strong role in DJ's life as well and obviously Stephanie's but DJ likes to learn guitar with Jesse. It's not the same with her father. And it was great to have Bob Saget performing there. I just thought that worked really well as well. Definitely a really solid, emotional, moving, sweet, adorable episode. I think that the other episode could have comprised pretty much all of this. And we could have condensed the Jesse fleeing to just a couple of scenes. But nevertheless, I'm pleased we have this episode. It's really moving and surprisingly not the season finale. I feel like this would have been a really strong season finale for season one. I can't remember um, how this season ends actually, so I will look forward to finding that out in a couple of episodes time, but I think it would have been a pretty strong finale. Nevertheless, uh, really thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Definitely a credit to the series. <laughs> 